Hello, my dear students. Hope you all are doing good. Okay. Now tell me, what is this? Yes, it is a pencil. Yeah, anyone can say it is a pencil. Yes. And what about this one? This one. That is also a pencil. Yes. Look, it is also a pencil. Yes, they both are pencils, but the only thing is, it is taken from different angles. This photo and this photo of the same pencil is taken from different sides. So that is our first chapter, where to look from. Okay, so when we look the same object from different sides, for example, front, or if you are looking it from the top or from this side, all the views will be different. It, am I correct? Yes, same as that pencil which ma'am shown you before. This first picture of that pencil was a front view of that pencil and the second picture was a top view. That photo or that picture was taken from the top, top of that pencil. As you can see here in your textbook, see you can see it is also that first picture is also a car. But can you identify it as a car? It is just like two rectangles, isn't it? And the second one is also a car. Second one is clearly understood. It is a car. So that first view is the top side of a car. When you look at a car from top, it can be like that. And the second photo is the side view of that car. So about this chapter, first topic which comes in this chapter is about different views of the same object. Front view, if we look an object from front, how does it look like? If we look an object from the side, how does it look like? And if we look that same object from the top, how is it? You just imagine our school bus, a school bus. Just go and stand in front of our school bus. Just imagine, okay, you're going and standing in front of our school bus. You can see something written, benchmark international school on the top and bus number will be there. You can see the mirror, uh, then that glass, you can see some engine, some grills, all you can see. Will that be the same when you look that bus from the side? You're going and standing in the side of that bus and you're looking. Is it the same? No. But is that bus the same one? Yes. So even if the objects are same, the views from different sides will be different. When we look from the top, it is something else. When we look from the front, it is something else. From the side, something else. Now you see this page, page number two. There you can see some questions are there. First one, it is a staircase. It is written there also, it is a staircase. Can you tell me which view is that? If you are looking a staircase, from which side? That is from front, top or side? It will look like this. Yes, it is side view of this. It is side view of a staircase. Same way, second photo is also a staircase. Which view is that? Is it the front view, top view or side view? It is the front view. So same way you can see many pictures here. See just Third one is just a rectangle, only a rectangle and it is written their table. Which view of that table is that? Yes, it is the top view. When you look from the top, 
a table only rectangle can you see the legs of that table when you're looking from the top no you can't see so that is the top view same way this is the side view of a chair next is top view of a pencil this is what we have seen our first picture which ma'am has shown that is this one it is the top view of a pencil and last picture is side view of a bus so that is it even if we look same object if even if this object is same if we are looking it from different angles or different sides it looks different next topic in this chapter is about rangoli tell me have you ever made a rangoli or have you seen someone making a rangoli yes maybe in cartoons or films you might have watched it isn't it yes that is some white dots and they are making beautiful patterns as this girl her name of that girl is meenakshi she is making some beautiful rangoli patterns or column patterns so in now in next two three pages you have a lot of works to do using these dots it is just to draw some patterns next work is just to copy that same pattern then it is to draw some pictures that is a kite a boat a flower etc using just by joining these dots okay so try doing all those things in your textbook this is a story about a painter and a girl named amina so one day amina met a painter an artist and uh, she said can you draw my picture she asked that painter that painter said okay i will and what that painter has done he drew only half of her only half portion of amina and when amina asked where is my other half what did the painter said he said just keep a mirror here near to your picture then that picture will be completed that is what the painter said to her okay then amina said how much rupees you need for this he said i need 200 rupees but what did amina do she gave only 100 rupees then the painter asked where is my other 100 and amina said you just keep a mirror there near to this 100 rupees then the other 100 is there on the mirror so actually painter thought of making fun of amina she thought she he will he thought he will fool amina but actually who was fooled painter was fooled okay so some pictures or some objects or some images are there if we keep a mirror in the correct half this part will be same as the other part they are similar or they are same such type of images are known as mirror images for example this butterfly if i'm keeping a mirror here i'm drawing just drawing a line here that is to, i'm making this into two equal halves and if i'm keeping a mirror here i can get the same picture on this mirror isn't it so such type of images are known as mirror images now you look this picture if i'm drawing a line here and i'm keeping the mirror here i will get the same as on the mirror so what about this picture now the one which is formed now is it the same as the other one that original no so is it a mirror image no this is not a mirror image understood so some images can be mirror images and some images can be which ca it cannot be mirror images okay and the line for example in this butterfly the line which we draw 
to make it a mirror half is known as line of symmetry. This images or this pictures are also known as symmetrical pictures. Okay, and this line is known as line of symmetry. Now you look this, which is that shape? It is a rectangle, isn't it? If I'm drawing a line like this, this is if this is my line of symmetry. And if I'm keeping a mirror like the here, will I get that same rectangle on the mirror? Or you just imagine, just fold it on that line. Is it correctly or exactly on the other of? No. So this is not the line of symmetry. But what if I'm drawing the line like this? If I'm keeping a mirror here, will I get that same rectangle? Yes, I will get that same rectangle. Or if I fold it here, this portion comes correctly over the other portion. Isn't it? So this is a line of symmetry for that rectangle. So there are some images which are mirror images and there are some images which are not mirror images. In our English alphabets or our numbers, we can see many examples for mirror images. Can you tell me some English alphabets which are mirror images? Some capital letters, capital letters. Yes, A. A is a mirror image. If I draw a line here, the middle, one part the same as the other part. C. C is also a mirror image. So there are many alphabets in English which are mirror images. Even there are many numbers. Look this number. Zero. Yes. It is mirror image. If I'm drawing the line of symmetry like this, one part is same as the other part. They are exactly the same. So such images are known as mirror images images so now there are many exercises uh, in your textbook to draw the other half and also to say whether an image is a mirror image or not and also to draw the line of symmetry so this is all there in your first chapter thank you all